Launched in the late 1990s, the EV1 represented a bold foray into electric mobility, a glimpse into a future where automobiles no longer relied on fossil fuels. However, the journey of the EV1 was abruptly halted, sparking debates that continue to resonate today, especially in the context of the 2006 documentary, Who Killed the Electric Car? The EV1 emerged from General Motors as a pioneering effort to address the growing concerns over air pollution, oil dependency, and the environmental impact of conventional vehicles. With 800 units available for lease, the EV1 quickly garnered a dedicated following, appreciated for its innovation, efficiency, and the statement it made about the potential for a cleaner automotive future. Yet, Despite the enthusiasm it generated among a niche group of environmentally conscious drivers, General Motors announced the end of the EV1 line in 1999, a mere few years after its introduction. Their cause for discontinuing the EV once centered on economic considerations, primarily the limited driving range of the car's batteries, which they argued made the vehicle unprofitable to produce and maintain. According to General Motors, the technology at the time could not meet consumer expectations for range and convenience, making the EV one a challenging proposition for widespread adoption. However, this explanation did not satisfy many observers. Skeptics and supporters of the EV speculated that there were other forces at play, specifically the influence of the oil industry. The argument goes that oil companies, whose business model relies on the continued dominance of internal combustion engine vehicles, viewed the advent of electric cars like the EV as a direct threat to their profits and market position. According to this perspective, pressure from these powerful interests led General Motors to not only discontinue the EV, but also to take extraordinary measures to erase its existence. A policy was issued by General Motors to hunt and destroy every last EV one. Rather than allowing the leased vehicles to remain with their enthusiastic users or preserving them as part of automotive history, General Motors systematically retrieved and crushed the EV1S, effectively ensuring that the technology would not advance beyond its prototype stage. This decision has been interpreted by many as an attempt to stifle the development of electric vehicle technology, keeping it from challenging the status quo of the automotive market.